even hear me, can you? <laughs> now you can hear me. Now you can hear me though, right? Yeah. You know, it's amazing. All I had to do was turn the mic on. Ugh. When will I ever get good at this? All right. So our hymn is number 124 from the Breviary. I typed out the lyrics um, in the description. And I also said that I will not be here next Tuesday evening. I won't be here tonight at 7 p.m. because my son has a band concert and I have to go to that. And then my other son next week, next Tuesday night, has an awards assembly. So I can't be live and be there at the same time. But I will be here in the mornings for morning prayer. So please join me at 9 a.m. each Tuesday morning. So um, sorry about that. You know, I, I, I guess I need to do a checklist and just press that button and turn it on. All right, so River Hymn number 124. God, come to my assistance. O oh, Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be world without end. Amen. Let the earth rejoice and sing. Alleluia. At the triumph of our King. Alleluia. He ascends from mortal sight. Alleluia, reigns now at our Father's right. Alleluia, he who died upon a tree. Alleluia, now shall reign eternally. Alleluia. He who saved our fallen race, Alleluia, takes in heaven his rightful place, Alleluia. Jesus, Lord, hail, all hail to thee, Alleluia, on this day of victory. Alleluia, thou didst shatter Satan's might. Alleluia, rising glorious from the fight. Alleluia, you singing with me? The words are in the description. Verse 4, Jesus, victor, hear our prayer. Alleluia, in thy triumph let us share. Alleluia, lift our minds and hearts above. Alleluia, strengthen all men in thy love. Alleluia. While in heaven thou dost gaze, Alleluia. On thy church who sings thy praise, Alleluia. Fasten all our hope in thee, Alleluia. Till thy face unveiled we see, Alleluia. Antiphon 1. Whoever does the will of my Father will enter the kingdom. Alleluia. Psalm 101. My song is of mercy and justice. I sing to you, O Lord. I will walk in the way of perfection. O when, Lord, will you come? I will walk with blameless heart within my house. I will not set before my eyes whatever is base. I will hate the ways of the crooked. They shall not be my friends. The false hearted must keep far away. The wicked I disown. The man who slanders his neighbor in secret I will bring to silence. The man of proud looks and haughty heart I will never endure. I look to the faithful in the land that they may dwell with me. He who walks in the way of perfection 
shall be my friend. No man who practices deceit shall live within my house. No man who utters lies shall stand before my eyes. Morning by morning I will silence all the wicked in the land, uprooting from the city of the Lord all who do evil. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Whoever does the will of my Father will enter the kingdom of heaven. Alleluia. Antiphon 2. Let all the nations, O Lord, know the depths of your loving mercy for us. Alleluia. Canticle from Daniel. Blessed are you and praiseworthy, O Lord, the God of our fathers, and glorious forever is your name. For you are just in all you have done. All your deeds are faultless, all your ways right, all your judgments proper. For we have sinned and transgressed by departing from you, and we have done every kind of evil. For your name's sake, do not deliver us up forever or make void your covenant. Do not take away your mercy from us. For the sake of Abraham, your beloved, Isaac, your servant, and Israel, your holy one, to whom you promised to multiply their offspring like the stars of heaven or the sand on the shore of the sea. For we are reduced, O Lord, beyond any other nation, brought low everywhere in the world this day because of our sins. We have in our day no prince, prophet, or leader, no holocaust, sacrifice, oblation, or incense, no place to offer first fruits to find favor with you. But with contrite heart and humble spirit, let us be received as though it were holocausts of rams and bullocks or thousands of fat lambs. So let your sacrifices be in your, so let our sacrifice be in your presence today as we follow you unreservedly. For those who trust in you cannot be put to shame. And now we follow you with our whole heart. We fear you, and we pray to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let all the nations, O Lord, know the depths of your loving mercy for us. Alleluia. The Lord is my refuge and my Savior. Alleluia. Psalm 144. Blessed be the Lord, my rock, who trains my arms for battle, who prepares my hands for war. He is my love, my fortress. He is my stronghold, my savior, my shield, my place of refuge. He brings peoples under my rule. Lord, what is man that you care for him? Mortal man that you keep him in mind? Man who is merely a breath, whose life fades like a passing shadow. Lower your heavens and come down. Touch the mountains, breathe them in smoke. Flash your lightnings, rout the foe. Shoot your arrows and put them to flight. Reach down from heaven and save me. Draw me out from the mighty waters, from the hands of alien foes, whose mouths are filled with lies, whose hands are raised in perjury. To you, O God, will I sing a new song. I will play on the ten-stringed harp to you who give kings their victory who set David, your servant, free. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord is my refuge and my Savior. Alleluia. A reading from Acts 13.30. God raised Jesus from the dead, and for many days thereafter, Jesus appeared to those who had come up with him from Galilee to Jerusalem. These are his witnesses now before the people. We ourselves announce to you the good news that what God promised our fathers, he has fulfilled for us, their children, in raising up Jesus according to what is written in the second psalm, you are my son, this day I have begotten you. The Lord is risen from the tomb. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord is risen from the tomb. Alleluia, alleluia. He hung upon the cross for us. Alleluia, alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The Lord is risen from the tomb. 
Alleluia, Alleluia. Canticle of Zechariah. The works that I do in the name of my Father speak on my behalf. Alleluia. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He's come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of a servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The works that I do in the name of my Father speak on my behalf. Alleluia. Intercessions. This is where you get to write your intercessions in the comments, and then I will mention them at the end, and we will all pray for your intentions. And I see there's a, a couple people here writing stuff, so um, write them in. The spotless Lamb of God takes away the sins of the world. Let us give thanks to the Father and say, Source of all life, raise us to life. Source of all life, remember the death and resurrection of the Lamb slain on the cross. Listen to his voice as he lives forever, making intercession for us. Source of all life, raise us to life. Now that the old leaven of wickedness and evil is destroyed, May we always feed on the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Source of all life, raise us to life. Grant that today we may put aside all friction and jealousy and show greater concern for the needs of others. Source of all life, raise us to life. Send into our hearts the spirit of the gospel that we may walk in the way of your commandments today and forever. Source of all life, raise us to life. I'd like to pray in thanksgiving for God's graces and blessings and healing and help for my mother-in-law who had a successful hip surgery and she's doing better than everyone expected. It's, you know, it's hard for her to get up and move, but um, so far so good. Uh, the dangerous part is ahead with blood clotting. So I'd like to pray for God's continual blessing on her, healing and help that she be fully recovered. She's 90 years old, but um, she still wants to live and offer it up for for more time. She, If it was me, I probably would have just said, I, ha I had enough, Lord. Whenever you're ready to take me, I'll go. But she wants to stay and suffer more and offer more up. She's a true warrior, and she's determined to walk. So God bless her and help her and, and heal her. And we thank you for all blessings so far. And for all those who are struggling with surgery this day and, and who are in recovery from surgery, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let's see what we got over here. We got laughing that i um, messing up. Yeah, that's what I do. Um, oh, man. Why is the not scrolling? Um, praise the Lord. Pray, let's see, Joseph wants to pray his friend. Ellen receives a healing for a health problem. Yes, we need healing. You know, there's some, um, Lord, in your scripture, all this week in the Acts, your disciples are healing in your name. They're going out with your power and speaking your name and preaching for the conversion of sinners and healing in your name. And we pray that the days of the Acts of the Apostles continue to work in us, that we be filled with your power and step out in faith. And we pray and we ask for your healing. In Jesus' name, we pray for Ellen to receive a healing from her health problems. And all those that need some healing, Lord, if you put them in our path, may we be bold enough to lay hands on them and ask in the name of Jesus 
that they be healed. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Dave wants to pray for the perseverance of all men. Yes, and, and, and men in the deacon formation cohort. I hear being a deacon is very hard. So, oh Lord, we ask for an extra dose of your grace for men being ordained to the diaconate. Oh, that's right. Our parish priest asked us to pray for those being ordained to being a deacon because he says that was harder than being a priest. That's when the decision is really made at being a deacon. And so we pray for an outpouring of your Holy Spirit of peace and joy and courage, fortitude for these men to take up the cross, take up the challenge of being a deacon and going out and setting the world on fire and being your disciples to a, a world in need. And especially, um, in the face of so much opposition to the church and clergy these days, we thank you, Lord, for choosing them and sending them. And, and uh, with Dave and everyone else, we ask for their perseverance of all these men in the deacon formation cohort. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Mary would like to pray for those who are walking in darkness to find God's love, repent, and turn from their wicked ways. So we'll do the old blood and water prayer because Jesus promised that if we pray, these prayers on behalf of some sinner. He will give them the grace of conversion. Will blood and water which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us. I trust in you to send the grace for the conversion of sinners. Let your mercy flood us all. And Max says he's praying that he's doing God's will and it's chaotic. Oh, you live in D.C.? Wow, helping his mom, living in a mountainous area for a long time. Oh, you live in the mountains now? You were in D.C.? You're a transplant? Oh, that's a change, huh? Isn't it glorious? Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for helping us in our city life. And if we have the grace to be hermits in the quiet uh, mountains or desert or beach or prairie or wherever there's quiet to find you or even the quiet of our room behind a closed door we pray that we always seek you your way and your will and we ask for a special dose for max all righty if since that's all our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. So um, we'll do Auxilium Christianorum for Tuesday. I'm pretty sure I mentioned I'm not going to be here this evening for evening prayer. Um because my son has a band concert, or but I will be here next Tuesday morning at 9 a.m. for morning prayer, so don't miss. And I won't be here in the evening because my other son has a uh, award ceremony. And I have two gigs this weekend. So if you're in the St. Louis area, or you know somebody in the St. Louis area, there's a Marian conference this Friday and Saturday. And um, I'll be singing the rosary Saturday morning. And I'm giving a Sing a Mary concert at St. Robert Bellarmine in St. Charles, Missouri at 2 p.m. May 15th. There's details on my website, donacory.com. If you know somebody here, send them a shout. And um, if you'd like me to come give a concert at your parish, send me an email, donna at donacory.com, and we'll talk about it, even if you're not even sure what that means. <laughs> concert at your parish. Um, so I'm booking for the fall. If you'd like an Our Catholic Faith concert with a theme of, you know, whatever slant you think your parish might like. Um, Our Lady Feast of the Assumption is August, but then fall is great for Our Catholic Faith. And then there's Advent. And so I'm always looking to fill my calendar. So send me an email and ask me to come to your parish. <laughs> All right. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. Most Gracious Virgin Mary, thou who wouldst crush the head of the serpent, protect us from the vengeance of the evil one. We offer our prayers, supplications, sufferings, and good works to thee, so that thou may purify them, 
sanctify them and present them to thy son as a perfect offering. May this offering be given so that the demons that influence or seek to influence the members of the Auxilium Christianorum do not know the source of their expulsion and blindness. Blind them so that they know not our good works. Blind them so that they know not on whom to take vengeance. Blind them so that they may receive the just sentence for their works. Cover us with the precious blood of thy Son, so that we may enjoy the protection which flows from his passion and death. Amen. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl throughout the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom his love commits me here, Ever this day be at my side to light and guard, to rule and guide. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and of the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Litany of the most precious blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. God, the Father of heaven, have mercy on us. God, the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God, the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Blood of Christ, only begotten Son of the Eternal Father, save us. Blood of Christ, incarnate Word of God, save us. Blood of Christ, of the New and Eternal Testament, save us. Blood of Christ, falling upon the earth in the agony, save us. Blood of Christ, shed profusely in the scourging, save us. Blood of Christ, flowing forth in the crowning with thorns, save us. Blood of Christ, poured out on the cross, save us. Blood of Christ, price of our salvation, save us. Blood of Christ, without which there is no forgiveness, save us. Blood of Christ, Eucharistic drink and refreshment of souls, save us. Blood of Christ, stream of mercy, save us. Blood of Christ, victor over demons, save us. Blood of Christ, courage of martyrs, save us. Blood of Christ, strength of confessors, save us. Blood of Christ, bringing forth virgins, save us. Blood of Christ, help of those in peril, save us. Blood of Christ, relief of the burdened, save us. Blood of Christ, solace in sorrow, save us. Blood of Christ, hope of the penitent, save us. Blood of Christ, consolation of the dying, save us. Blood of Christ, peace and tenderness of hearts, save us. Blood of Christ, pledge of eternal life, save us. Blood of Christ, freeing souls from purgatory, save us. Blood of Christ, most worthy of all glory and honor, save us. Lamb of God, who takest away the sins of the world, spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takest away the sins of the world, graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takest away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Thou hast redeemed us with thy blood, O Lord, and made of us a kingdom for our God. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, who has appointed thine only begotten Son to be the Redeemer of the world, and has been pleased to be reconciled unto us by his blood, grant us, we beseech thee, so to venerate with solemn worship the price of our salvation, that the power thereof may here on earth keep us from all things hurtful, and the fruit of the same may gladden us forever forever hereafter in heaven, throughout the same, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Tuesday Prayer Lord Jesus Christ, we beg thee for the grace to remain guarded beneath the protective mantle of Mary, surrounded by the holy briar from which was taken the holy crown of thorns, and saturated with the precious blood of thy power, with thy precious blood in the power of the Holy Spirit, with our guardian angels for the greater glory of the Father. Amen. August Queen of the Heavens, Heavenly Sovereign of the Angels, 
Thou who from the beginning has received from God the power and the mission to crush the head of Satan, we humbly beseech thee to send thy holy legions, so that under thy command and through thy power they may pursue the demons and combat them everywhere, suppress their boldness and drive them back into the abyss. O good and tender mother, thou wilt always be our love and hope. O divine mother, send thy holy angels to defend us and to drive far away from us the cruel enemy. Holy angels and archangels defend us and guard us. Amen. Most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Mary, help of Christians, pray for us. Virgin, most powerful, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Michael, the archangel, pray for us. And all you holy angels, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alrighty then. So I will be here Tuesday. Tuesday, next Tuesday at 9 a.m. and the Tuesday after 9 a.m., just not evenings. So today, today's meditation is really cool. Um, Father Lau calls it faith is spelled R-I-S-K. And I love that because it really is true. And he's not the only one who says it. Mother Angelica says the same thing. She says, faith is one foot on the ground. One foot in the air, because, you know, we're in the process of moving, but we're not right sure where it's going to land. And that's why we have a queasy feeling in our stomach. So she says, faith, one foot on the ground, one foot in the air, and a queasy feeling in the stomach. Because we're taking a risk. We're stepping out. We don't know where the Lord's going to lead. It's going to give us butterflies, make us break out into a sweat, probably. But that's what was going on with Barnabas in Acts 11, 12, which is our reading from the first reading today, today's Mass. It says, news of this eventually reached the ears of the church in Jerusalem, resulting in Barnabas being sent to Antioch. St. Barnabas, Scripture tells us in Acts eleven twenty four, 24, was, quote, a good man filled with the Holy Spirit and faith. Well, this should be cool. How does a man filled with the Holy Spirit and faith act? These are the Easter days, the days of um, the resurrection. And we are anticipating the descent of the Holy Spirit, which is coming up um, toward the end of this month, which reminds me, if you want to sign up for the novena and get the novena prayers in your inbox and never miss the day of prayers, um, you can sign up. Uh, I'll put the link in the description. I forgot to do that. All right. I'll put the link in the description. Um, it's just like last year, only this year, I also have videos to go. So if you don't want to read the, the prayers, you can listen to the prayers and pray along the Novena of the Holy Spirit. Each day, if there's a reading about the each gift, one gift of the Holy Spirit. So we first hear of Barnabas at that time named Joseph selling his farm and laying the proceeds at the apostles' feet, it says in Acts 4.36. This is what Barnabas does. He sells the farm. Wow. If you did such a thing, would you be at a risk? Would you be taking a risk? And what if the church didn't provide for you? What if you lost everything? Barnabas' next great act of faith. So that was just the first thing. But Barnabas' next great act of faith was his courage in accepting the newly converted Saul. He was a former killer of the Christians, and Barnabas was the only disciple in Jerusalem not afraid of Saul, says in Acts 9.26. Many thought it likely that Saul's conversion was just a ploy to kill more Christians. Yet Barnabas, by faith, took the risk. A lot of times we're in situations they're like, eh, you know, I'm not going to, I'm going to bow out of this one. I'm not going, or I'm not going to say, I'm not going to do. And um, I, I am in situations where I feel like I should say something. The Holy Spirit starts stirring up in me and I feel like I, could, I should say this. I should, and, and I'm not saying it. I'm like, what are you waiting for? And I start to literally break into a sweat. Does this happen to you? My heart beats faster and I'm thinking about saying it and I'm not saying it. And the window is opening and then it's going to, it's going to close. And I'm going to lose my opportunity. And then finally I say it and I, it's, 
it's two sided. Sometimes it's very well received, and I'm shocked. And I'm like, yes. Uh, thank you, God, that I had the, the bravery, the fortitude. I was willing to take the risk and step out in your name and say this word of love, this word of peace, this word of whatever he had given for me. And then other times um, they'll look at me like I have two heads and like, what was that? What do you even say? And then they just kind of move on. <laughs> but either way, it doesn't matter, right? We're here to be foolish for Christ. As a matter of fact, that's what Mother Angelica also said. I love her one-liners. She says, unless we're willing to do the ridiculous, God cannot do the miraculous. So that's all It's all lining up here with this. this is all the same thing. So he goes on. Next, we hear of Barnabas being chosen by the church of Jerusalem to discern the authenticity of Gentiles in Antioch being converted to the Lord. So Barnabas, quote, rejoiced to see the evidence of God's favor. He encouraged them all to remain firm in their commitment to the Lord. And I'm going to do the same to you. If you feel you hear the Lord prompting you, putting butterflies in your stomach, making you break out into a sweat and your heart is being fast because you have a word that the Lord gave you and he wants you to speak it. I pray that you have the courage to open your mouth and let some let God's power be sent forth. Out of your mouth, your word can affects the air. It's got to be in the air and can go and change hearts. This was an extremely controversial discernment, it says. And Barnabas would later be severely persecuted for this, dis, for this discernment. What's the discernment? To see the evidence in God's favor of be, those being converted to the Lord. And then he encouraged all to remain firm in their commitment. And he was persecuted for it. Yeah, that's why we get the upset stomach and the butterflies and the sweat. It's because we know there might be consequences. There might be a miracle. There might be a miracle. There might be a healing. There might be a conversion, probably. And we don't even know if we're planting a seed, or if we're not even going to see the fruit of it. We don't know what we're doing, but we know we're acting in, in God's voice. We're trusting in his power. And there might be consequences just like it was for Barnabas, severely persecuted for his discernment. But that's what we're here to be a witness. We're here to be martyrs. We're here to shed the, spread the truth of Christ. We're not here to live a comfortable life. We are here to go to heaven and bring as many souls with us as possible. That's our job. Don't forget the job. Don't get distracted. Barnabas later led the first Christian missionary journey. Wow. Talk about a man of faith taking risks. It says in Acts 13 too. He led the first missionary journey. He could have easily been killed. He was risking his life again and walking by faith. So here in 21st century America, I don't know how much risk we take. We're pretty comfortable. There are some people taking risks, coming out of their comfort zone, speaking up, putting themselves on the line, on the chopping block, having the one foot in the air, not knowing where it's going to land, stepping out in faith, spelled R-I-S-K, willing to suffer the consequences. Maybe that'll happen to you today. Maybe you'll be given a choice, a word to speak that you should open your mouth and say it, I'm taking a risk, even if it's just a word or a deed or a prayer, God will give you a prayer like, oh, that wasn't God. Just stop what you were doing. Just stop and pray it. Pray for that person. Risk, you know, a second. Just stop what you're doing. Put it down. He, he ends with this. Are you a man or woman of faith? Are you risking accordingly? I'm just reading Father's words. I'm just a girl. I'm just a messenger, a relay. He does start us off with this prayer. Prayer starter for your time of meditation. Because we can't give what we don't have. Be emboldened with the words of God by meditating on the words of God so that they are always on your tongue, ever ready to be spoken. A lot of times we don't say things 
on the Lord's behalf because we don't have the words, because we didn't get them. We didn't spend the time in his presence, marinating in it, meditating on it. He's with us close, so close. We experience his presence in prayer, and then we take him with us out to the world. You can't give what you don't have. So I'm here again saying the same thing that you've heard. Pray, pray, pray. Go into your room and close the door and meditate. He who hears in secret will reward you. So I will leave you to your prayer. I'm sorry about the mic in the beginning. I need to make a list of all my checkpoints. I forgot the lights. I forgot the mic. Um, but um, Holy Spirit Novena. Please sign up. I'll put the link in the description. Come back. I, I'll, I mean, I know you're not going to hang around and wait for me to do it, but check back for the link. Um, if you're not on my email list, then um, there's a, a link on how you can join. Where did I put that link? It's on my web. If you just go to my website and it says, you know, get free downloads, then you'd be on my email list. And I, I email you the sign up link and, and you know everything that I'm doing. And um, I don't have to say it over and over. It'll be, the links will be easy to find in the email. So join my email list. I'll, I'll try to remember to put another one of those links in the description too. So check back. Um, and I guess that's it. I will see you next Tuesday morning at 9 a.m. Thanks for praying with me, guys. Let's see if we got any other comments. I'm going to be reading comments while I play of uh, this outro this is my song hail mary i love this song it's got scripture apologetics in the verses for why we pray mary so it's a apologetic song it's from my our catholic faith cd and um i just created a new video for it so if you go to my youtube channel which you're on and you just scroll you should see this should be the very top one it's called hail mary why we say it and so I'll play this while I read your comments. How about that? That's a new format. I think that might work. All right, let's see what we got. Until then, until next week. Let's see. Pray for the war in Ukraine. Pray soldiers' hearts will be moved. You have a nice week too, Joseph. Thank you. Glad you like the divine mercy. Hey, Patrick. Good morning. Oh, my children are busy. They keep me busy. The church is under increasing persecution. Amen. We are in mystical times, Joseph. God help us all. I'm glad you enjoy. Who doesn't like a song in 6 8 time? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, four, five, six. One, two, three. They're always popular. I'm glad you like David. Thank you. Thank you for praying with me, for me. And you too, Joseph. And everybody. Enjoy. No more wine. You asked your son, he said, My heart has not come. But a request from his mother, he could not deny. <laughs> for your honor, his ministry started that day. And for your intercession for us, we now pray. Let a very Blessed is the 
check out my video for this song. Sounds good in here in the studio. <coughs> I wish I could blast it. Won't sound good on the mic. Praying with me, I really appreciate it. You can pray with me all day, you know, because I have all these YouTube videos, prayer YouTube videos, rosary, flame of love, rosary, songs from Divine Mercy Diary. See you next Tuesday. Love you. God bless you.